day two. It's almost 1 p.m. I'm gonna meet up with my Airbnb owner. He kind of has a lot of interests like I do, the same interests. We're gonna just meet at Starbucks. Hey everybody, I'm here in San Miguel Allende and I'm here with a fellow Navy vet. Yeah, that's right, James Guzman. James Guzman. Oh, no. I'm actually staying in his Airbnb and I'll put that in the video descri description. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so. So where are we going through there, up this, there? So we got, this is the uh, Hardeen and that right there is the parochial. Whenever you see uh, pictures of San Miguel or whatever people talk about, the, the main church, the parochia, we're right here in the center and that's it. So, so this is probably the most popular place in yeah, San Miguel. Well, usually people when they come here, they come and hang out in the Hardeen here. Hardeen, okay. Yeah, and uh, so that's pink limestone, Baroque style. Coffee, beer. I was here yesterday and it was just totally crowded. Yeah, yeah, it gets really crowded. They get like um, a lot of uh, music that plays out here. They set up like stages. Right. Is this one actually old? It's like some of my, I see churches that are not really old. Yeah, no, these are, these are old. Three, three, four hundred years old. Three, four hundred years old. Yeah. Yeah, I was here yesterday, just totally packed, totally busy. Yeah. It was actually, I thought it was too crowded myself. <laughs> it gets pretty crowded. Yeah. And this is just called the Hardeen? Yeah, this is the, the, the right in the middle of the central Hardeen. And, uh, but you got, you know, just a lot of people hanging out, watching people, coffee shops. So why do you think all the foreigners want to live here? Well, uh, I mean, I, it's a one thing about San Miguel is that uh, it's been established as a like an expat place <clears throat> for a long time now because there's a guy named Sterling Dickinson who uh, came uh, what was it like the 1930s and he established what's called <coughs> excuse me sorry it's, he established what's called uh, Bellas Artes which is an art. Uh, uh, where they teach art, you know, art school. And um, it's actually funny, so we're talking about the Navy. Uh, it was one of the only art schools that accepted the, G the GI Bill. And so after World War II, a lot of Americans came here using the GI Bill. Uh, oh, I read that on the internet. Yeah, yeah. Of, so a lot of veterans come here. Exactly. And they did, and yeah, so that's what got the ball rolling. And then, uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. And then it just became, you know, just, uh, more and more people found it attractive, and now, you know, it's, it's interesting because it's like, it's still very Mexican, you know, 90% for sure uh, of the people who live here are Mexican, but um, the, basically, uh, it's gotten to a point where everybody, uh, you know, a lot of the Mexicans, Americans, they, they live together for a long time, they're used to each other, no type of animosity or anything like that mm -hmm. so so you consider it very safe here oh yeah 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 especially compared to other places in mexico yeah yeah so if you heard what he said uh, one thing that happened is a lot of retired or just uh, military veterans from the u.s came here to uh, study and yes. use their gi bill How much longer do you think you'll still live here? Well, you know, it's definitely one of my one of my bases. I've been here on and off for five years. Uh, I've got some places here that I rent out, but, and um, yeah. So you know, my parents uh, they visited me and have uh, decided to retire here, so they're down here now. So it's definitely like one of my bases, and I can use to go other places. But uh, I think some other reasons, like you said, that me and um, you're seeing retirees, why people choose to come down here. I mean, it's still, you know, it's, it's great um, cost of living, inexpensive. Um, and uh, they have some nice restaurants, uh, good, you know, decent infrastructure, you know. And um, just got a nice vibe to it, you know. Yeah, it is a very nice place. People are friendly. 
Okay. Here's another church here. Okay, we'll walk this way. Yeah. yeah. It's got kind of a small town feel. People know each other. But on the weekends, especially like long weekends, people come here and party and it turns into like a, a party place. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, a lot of the tourists are actually Mexicans, you think? Or? Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. Most... Yeah, most of them are. Okay, so you said probably most of the tourists are actually from other parts of Mexico. And 10% foreigners. They live here. Like, oh, they live here, yeah. You say most foreigners are Americans? Yes, definitely. Okay. That's one thing that's like different. So I think you you did some stuff in Antigua, Guatemala. Yeah, yeah. I thought that Antigua and San Miguel de Allende are really uh, similar, except that um, Antigua has more foreigners that live there that are from different parts of the world. Oh, they do, yeah. Almost all of the people here are American or Canadian. Okay. For whatever reason. I'm not sure why. <laughs> It seems like a uh, which is right. by, it seems that that's kind of more mixed too. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, let's go down over here. Okay. There's a uh, gas pump. <laughs> Must have been there a long time. Yeah, that's what you do. It's funny, this is the path I was going to walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, I, I always, uh, you guys might not know it, but I always plan out my walk because otherwise it would be a stupid video. Yeah. So this is just kind of three parks in a row. And so this is, if you want to look at this statue over there, that's the okay. San Miguel de Allende statue. Okay. Well, what, what's he famous for? Yeah. So back in the Jardin, we didn't show it, but they have uh, two houses there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the house of San Miguel de Allende and then the uh, house of Canal. Mm -hmm. And uh, so San Miguel de Allende was pretty much like the guy that started the Mexican Revolution. Oh, and, he did? Yeah, and he lived, uh, his house is there in the Jardin. And then Canal family was the, uh, they were like kind of the banking family and very rich family. And they turned their house into a Banamex. Oh, really? Oh, Banamex. <laughs> yeah, but his is, his is a museum there. So, um, do you want to go? Do you uh, want to go to uh, like a market? I can walk there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. People, I don't know if people are interested. In I know sometimes when I walk through a market in uh, Mexico, the people don't like me actually recording the video. In there. Oh, we'll really? See, we'll see what happens. I don't think yeah. Another one of those cities is full of churches. Absolutely, yeah, that's it. There's another one over there, but there's uh, another one, yeah. That's okay. We'll go this okay. way. Okay. What I do first, like yesterday, I use my other cameras to video, like really high quality 4K, and oh, okay. then I'll mix it in today. Like I don't always mix it in. I'm trying to and starting to. Yeah. So you think a lot of locals here can speak English because all the foreigners? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. You still recording? Or? Yeah. Okay. Or you, I can take a break here. No problem. Okay. Just a little up here. They got a little out here. Yeah, like sometimes if the video gets boring, I just cut it out, or yeah. sometimes I pause it. Uh, of course, it's just wasting my battery. <laughs> no, it's just right here. So. Okay. I think it'd be a cool video because it goes 
They sell lots of stuff and it kind of goes on and on. Okay. All right, so we're going through the market. See what happens. Hola. Hola. Muy bien. Acá sí. I'm not the only one that's tired. Right. I don't know why I came up here. There's not much up here. Just the view.